Welcome to the NDT Systems Precision Thickness Gauge Setup video. We will cover how to set up the Novascope 6000 for use with contact and delay line style transducers. We will set up the contact probes with metal step gauges, and we will set up the delay line with wax shims. First, let's look at the contact probes. To begin calibrating the Novascope for contact probes, first we'll need to verify that the settings on the Novascope are at the factory default. To do this, go to the Setup menu located on the top of the screen, navigate to Factory Default, and hit Recall. Next, go ahead and connect the contact probe to the probe cable. In this case, we have an NDT Systems C11. Connect the probe cable's other end to the Novascope, and couple to an area of low thickness that you'll be using. In this case, it's 0.1 inches. Next, while it's coupled, go to the side menu, go to the advanced settings switch and hit on, hit gate overlays, and now you'll see the trigger gate. We want to set this so that it triggers on the first echo. It should be about right here. Let's go to the front and decrease our range down to 2 inches. Go back to the side. Go to the IP block and decrease that until we hit our first return echo. Next, go back to the front, go to the Cal Radio button, and go to the two-point Cal selection that appears in the bottom left. This is where we will set up our two-point calibration on the probe. Go ahead and hit OK. Select your low thickness for the step wedge, in this case 0.1 inches, and our high thickness is 1.5 inches. Go ahead and hit OK. Now go ahead and couple to your region of low thickness. When you get a steady reading, hit OK. And go to your region of high thickness. Hit OK when you get a steady reading. And the gauge has now calculated our new zero and new velocity. Hit OK to apply. Now this is a standard step wedge. We know this is 2 inches thick, but if it were a sample that we did not know, we could now go ahead and measure a 2 inch thickness. Let's go ahead and look at delay probes. Setting up a delay line probe is similar to setting up a contact probe. In this case, we have an NDT Systems D11. We're going to connect it to the probe cable. We'll apply a couplant to our samples. In this case, we have a 0.1 inch wax shim and a 0.3 inch wax shim. We need to set the Novascope up to account for our new echoes. We've got an interface echo where the probe meets the delay line, and we've got a backwall echo, which is the backwall echo from the delay line itself. Go to your side menu. Go to Mode, and from Contact, hit the switch so that we are in Delay Immersion Mode. Next, we'll want to make sure that our probe and settings are correct. Connect the probe to the thicker sample. You'll see here that the back wall echo, because we're coupled on a wax sample, has dropped quite significantly. We'll need to bring the gain up so that it triggers on our gate. Another complication is that by increasing the gain, we increase the amplitude of the initial pulse. We'll need to block out this additional signal. Go to your IPIF polarity and hit block, and increase it till you're well past the IP. Next, uncouple the probe 
and see where the noise falls. We'll need to go to our IF first block and block out that noise. Now we're good to couple and calibrate with our two-point cal. Go to the cal button again and select two-point cal. Hit OK. Similar as before, but this time our high thickness is 0.3 inches instead of 1.5. If your settings are correct, hit OK. Couple to the low thickness. Hit OK. Next, couple to the high thickness. Hit OK. And we'll be given a new zero and new velocity. Notice that the new velocity is significantly slower than that of a metal. Now that we've calibrated this probe, we can go ahead and do spot checks on a sample. This wax injection mold has two different thicknesses on this uh, support rib. We can go ahead and check those thicknesses by applying couplet and applying our probe to various parts of the support rib. On the outside, our thickness is 0.225 2.222 inches, and if we go closer into the part, our thickness drops to 0 0.066 inches. You can use these methods to calibrate for a variety of materials, including steels, plastics, and waxes. If you have any questions or would like to know more about the products featured in this video, please contact us at our website, ndtsystems.com. Thank you.